who comes out on top between Random Nicks with his Tomb Kings and Maximo in the Skaven. Winner of this goes on to the final. So, I'm going to take off the cards now. Let's go over the armies and see what happens. So, for the Skaven, four units of Clan Rats going to be up front supporting it. It's a zap! For the units that are still waiting to be deployed, looks like we have Skaven Slaves, five or four Skaven or Clan Rats of Spears, and then was it two Clan Rats or Skaven Slaves? There's a Skaven Slave. Okay, maybe there's just one Skaven Slave. I'm seeing things. Aside from that, we have the Natty Boo Boo Sharpshooters, our, our Warp Block Giselles. Going to be taking a look at some Rat Ogres also. Have two of them, three of them, one on either side, four of them, two on either side of the Warp Line Cannon. Conrad Spears to protect it, and the other ones look like they're going to be deployed, alternating with the Rat Ogres. Now, down on the ground, looks like we have two Assassins. Skaven Brew, uh, why can't I not think of it? Skaven Brew, Assassin's yeah. Trophy, and I cannot for the life of me remember. Rival High Talisman, thank that's what it is. Along with Slipper, going to be on all of them. And then we're going to be seeing a Gracier of Plague on top of a Screaming Bell. It's going to have Arcane Conduit, Warpstone Scroll, Vermintide, Blessed with Filth, Unholy Clamor, Scorch, and Plague Rash. For the Tomb Kings, we're going to have a frontline consisting of Tomb Guard. Looks like we have four of them, with the fourth being the Kepper Guard, ROR Tomb Guard, with two weapons and regeneration. We're going to have three units of Skeleton Spearmen. King Nakesh's Scorpion Legion going to be holding the center. Behind them, we're going to have four units of Skeleton Archers. Two Nehekara Horsemen. Make that three. Make that four. <laughs> And up in the air, we're going to have some carrion. Looks like one carrion here, another one vanguarded out there. And then we're just going to be going over the leadership now. And for the leadership, we have Ark on the Black on top of his chariot. Or, sorry, on top of his skeleton steed. And uh, Archon is going to be bringing the Tomb Blade of Archon, the Staff of Nagash, the Liber Mortis, Spirit Leech, Aspect of the Dread Knight, and my will be done with life leeching. Looks like he's trying to bait fire from the Natty Boo Boos and the Warp Lion Cannon. But he's going to actually get shot instead. <laughs> Natty Boo Boos are going to pull back, redeploy themselves. Yeah, Archon's going to be able to dodge a lot of that incoming fire. Especially from the Warp Lightning Cannons. But it will cause a bit of a micro strain on him as he has to focus on microing that. It's an easy micro, but once he gets all these horses engaged, he may start forgetting. And yeah, not so easy to dodge the Warp Lock Giselles. Alright, looks like the Clan Rats are going out for the charge. Nehekara horsemen are coming out to counter charge. And, uh, man, that should be a rough charge to take for these clan rats. They aren't getting charged, though. Never mind. <laughs> oh! Archon taking some serious damage there. And look at this the Natty Boo Boo sharpshooters. They're going to have silver shields, so they're going to be deflecting a lot of the damage that's coming in from the skeleton archers. But, uh, they don't have forever, so we'll see what happens. Carrion are going to dive in on top of the Warp Lock Giselle. Unholy Clamor goes down, and uh-oh, Tomb Kings, or sorry, the Tomb Guard and the King Nakesha Scorpion have breached the hole, or breached the line, um, so we'll have to see how they do, but um, yeah, they're in the back lines of this game forces now. Looks like some Clan Rats are coming to support and tie them down, but it's just going to be buying time, you know. Clearly, they're not going to win in combat there. Over here, Ark on the Black. Going to be getting singled out by the Warp Lightning Cannon, and he's taking quite a lot of damage, so... Over here, we're going to see the Nehekar Horsemen crumble out of existence. Skeleton Spearman not having a very good time in combat. And 
The Skaven still have a very commanding position on the balance of power, though. Uh, back here, we're going to be seeing the Carrion getting chiseled away by some assassins and the clan art spears but now the kepper guard are on top of the warp lightning cannons and uh we'll see if the skaven can hold them back because uh they really want to keep that thing online as long as possible over here grace here of plague rolling around the battle swinging his bell back and forth and we'll see what he does it looks like he's going to be summoning some clan rats here get on top of the skeleton archers And back here, man, the assassins have just been devastating the Kepper Guard. And look at that rival hide talisman popped, which is just basically making all of these guys completely ineffective in melee combat. Um, looks like it just wore off now, but oof. Some tough plays here for the Tomb Kings. Skaven looking like they're in a really strong position, especially after this play back here, using the rival hide talisman to shut down the Kepper Guard. Mortis, the Liber Mortis is going down though. It's going to add a ton of leadership and physical resistance to everybody in this blob. And now that the Natty Boo Boo sharpshooters are dealt with, as well as the Warp Lightning Cannon looking like it's about to go offline, um, that's going to help the Tomb Kings out a lot. It's going to allow Archon some breathing room so he can try to, you know, actually move around the field and do things rather than just dance around trying to avoid incoming Warp Lightning shots. Rad Ogre's nice matchup here against uh, the Tomb Guard. Arc on the Black getting in combat next to these Rad Ogres. I wonder if the Rad Ogres can do enough to him. Alright, Ushapti Summon is about to go out of existence. And then it looks like the rest of the Tomb King forces in this area will be quick to follow. All right, artillery crew was coming back, but now it's routing again. But yeah, I mean, at this point, it just looks like the Skaven are going to be close to having it in the bag. Concealment bomb has been popped. But, oh no, this assassin isn't going to be sneaky enough to catch him. Yeah, there go the shatters on those two units, and that's going to be army losses kicking in, and the Skaven going to take a nice first victory in this best of three. The double assassin build working very nicely for our red player. Oh, I didn't update the scoreboard again. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Norska is famished. <laughs> <laughs> it's Arcan, not Arcant. Oh man, that's hilarious. I will update the overlay. Team Kings got boned. Yeah, they did. <laughs> that was a good fight, but yeah, no, the uh, Skaven did beautiful work there. So, let's go ahead and update the scoreboard. Did I mention that I'm insanely hungover, guys? So I'm sorry if my energy is like down to zero. But <laughs> woo, today's been a struggle. I've been like falling asleep, like sitting up here. Anyways, I, I'm just delusional. Let's see how round two goes between these two fine lads.